Welcome to another App Manager 8 video. My name is Michi Schniebel. I'm Product Manager for App Manager. And in this video, I'm talking about the new AM8 Heartbeat. Many of you use already the Heartbeat from AM7, which is located in the unsupported folder of the AM7 CD. And some of you are using your own technology uh, to uh, see if your agents are communicating back to the QDB. So let me explain how this works in AM8. So you have two components. The one is on the agent, which is a KS for Windows and Unix. And the other one is in the back end, which is SQL jobs um, checking the back end. So the KS is creating on a, a regular interval uh, a special event and optionally a data point. And these special data points and events going back to the QDB, and they are not visible in your charts or in your event tables. That's why they are special. And the QDB then reads out the schedule of the KS and looks for that data point or event of in that time range. And if it's missing, it can uh, raise an alert. It can create an app manager event telling you what's going on. So this is uh, the the basics of the heartbeat. Uh, there uh, some more details here and um, we, we also for instance if a management server is down we we don't uh, create events for all the agents communicating to that management server so there's a lot of intelligence in that system in AM8 uh, preventing these situations but let's take a look to AM8 and you know what you can do there and how it works uh, from your UI so um, in Control Center, you see these new management groups, and I talked about these in another video. Um, and there's one management group called Agent Managed Computers, and there's a policy uh, attached to that management group. And in that KSG, you have one or two KSs, depending if you have Unix and Windows machines. Um, and um, these KSs are the AM Health's Heartbeat Win or Unix KSs. So let's take a look to the Windows KS in my environment here. Uh, by default, it's running every five minutes, and uh, it has options about the severity that we raise if a heartbeat fails or if a heartbeat uh, restarts uh, the agent, so if an agent uh, was restarted. Um, also, you can define the uh, number of consecutive heartbeats um, before we raise uh, an event and uh, say, you know, this, this machine is down. We all know that there can be delays or network issues where we might miss one heartbeat. So um, here's the option to also look out for data points, not only events. Um, in this option, job monitoring, um, this will be another video. Uh, it has nothing to do with the actual health check, uh, but it's uh, a great new feature to monitor your agent. Um, and what's going on on the agent. So the next one is the uh, knowledge script option, what uh, severity we raise if the KS fails. And the last section, that's really uh, the powerful section, here's when we do the diagnosis. So what we are doing when the data point or the event is not in the database. We first do an ICMP ping to see if the machine in general is available uh, on the network. If that fails, we can do a trace route and see if the uh, network changed and we might have to take a different route and it doesn't work with the firewalls or the, the, the router. Um, then third, if, if this was successful, we connect the actual agent to see if the agent responds. And if the agent responds, we do an RPC to the agent uh, port and get more information and see if he's really alive. And if he's really alive we, and an RPC is working, we can do an RPC to the uh, registry and see if the machine is really responsive. And if that's true, we can also check if the services are up and running remotely. Uh, this only works if your firewall uh, let these ports RPC through uh, and ICMP. But you see, you get great information of uh, what is the status of your machine um, and not just, you know, it, it, it appears to be down. You really know what's going on here. So this is the KS site. Um, there is also a section 
in the options um, called uh, health check and it has an agent health check option which is different from the care so so don't get that confused what what this is about is uh, how we doing the internal heartbeat not this heartbeat but you know the MS heart beating the agent if it's up and running and if it can uh, accept jobs and things like that you have control over these settings here and you can uh, raise events about this as well uh, which is again uh, it, it, the, the, the other way it's the MS communicating to the agent not, and not the agent communicating end-to-end uh, -to, -end to the QDB and sending uh, events and data points so so this is the other uh, way around and you have control over this as well um, you see you have some options you can also uh, close the previous uh, event if a new event comes in so you always have the latest status on on things here and you can do the same with the management server by the way so um, that's uh, that is uh, also helpful in terms of heartbeat but it has nothing to do with the job I just explained all right so so this is uh, pretty much the the new heartbeat uh, with AM8 if you want to disable this or if you want to exclude machines from that heartbeat you have to go to that management group and you have to remove the uh, monitoring policy or you have to tweak the membership of that management group uh, and exclude machines from that membership so that they don't get the job deployed.